Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. Behind me is a 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX. Now this is an eight pin trailer. So we carry quite a few of our show trailers in inventory. As of right now, a lot of them are sold. Um, we're ordering out a little ways, but we can still get you a custom trailer. This is one we had somewhat on order and then a customer called in. We made some changes to it to make it kind of their own. That's the cool thing about it is the Cimarron is a very customizable trailer and we can make it exactly how you want it. Um, and then they made a couple upgrades to this. The LX trailers are very well equipped, um, but with that being said, you can always do some add-ons and that's what this customer did. Let's take a look at the drawing before I start walking you through this trailer and showing you some of those upgrades. So on an LX model, you get a standard eight wide trailer, whether it's the gooseneck or bumper pull version. So this one's eight foot wide. It is six, four tall. This one is 23.3 on the floor. That's from the nose to the bumper, but we also have a three foot hitch on the, on the front end of it. So from true nose to tail, you're 26.3. And then it's considered a seven foot front tack room on this one. On the LXs, you get a little bit bigger tack room. We just have noticed over the last couple of years, a lot of people are transitioning into that bigger tack room setup. But again, very well equipped right from the get go when you're dealing with an LX. But then from there, you can kind of make it your own. So at the very front here, nothing too crazy. I mean, you're gonna get a standard manual bulldog, hand crank jack, two and five sixteenths ball. So uh, pretty much everything in today's world is going to a two and five sixteenths. And then this gives you an idea. So from this point to this nose, that's three foot. And then from here back, we're 23.3. <clears throat> they opted for the polished stainless nose sheet. Uh, that is standard white with the, the diamond plate below, but they went ahead and option in for the polish on the nose itself. And then on the tack room, we get this nice big door. They actually opted to upgrade to a 42 inch wide door. You typically are standard with the 32, you can go 36. They opted for the 42. Now again, on this setup here, it's considered a seven foot front tack room. It's actually about six, 11 and a half from this partition wall to the nose. We call it our seven footer. Obviously at a bumper pull because of the nose, you know, it does taper in. Um, so that's why it's really important to maybe go ahead and add a little bit of length to these tack rooms to make them, you know, a little bit more, uh, just user friendly. You can put a lot of stuff in here. We understand when you're showing off of these trailers, you're traveling a lot with a lot of equipment and just other items, whether it's feed buckets, pans, everything you need there. Now on these, uh, in the gooseneck version, we continue to see those tack rooms get bigger and bigger as well. But in here, nothing too crazy. We have our spare tire up above the spare tire. This was an upgrade. This is the 30 amp breaker package in here. And you saw the 30 amp cord there on the floor, but this trailer does have power. And I'll show you when we get to the stall area, what we're talking about. Got a set of utility hooks on the partition wall. These are really good and, and Cimarron's doing a really good job on optioning these. Uh, in the past, we've always used bridle hooks that we'd use on horse trailers. They're not very deep. They're not very, they don't have the depth off of the actual back side of it as well. And then they're a lot closer together. But in the livestock world, we're hauling hoses and big cords. So we need this extra height and depth to those and then spread them out a little bit. So they've come up with these hooks here. Uh, these are aluminum powder coated. So they're really stout as far as that's concerned. And then above the door and on this side over here, we have OptiBright lights, some LEDs, light switch right inside the door. So you get a lot of light coverage. I mean, this is the side you're gonna be working into. So it shoots kind of down to the other side. So again, plenty of light coverage there. And then one other thing, if you notice from where that step is to this ledge here of this door frame, it is so nice to have those fold up steps added on. We try to incorporate those on a lot of trailers, even in inventory. Uh, in our opinion, that is one of the best, smallest upgrades you can make. It makes a massive difference when you're carrying things in and out of these tack rooms, as far as just a transition. Uh, you know, let's be honest, you know, uh, more than likely they could be having some really small kids showing, starting off that's a big step for even us as adults, but as the kids getting in and out of there, that makes a world of difference there. 
You can kind of see the white sheeting that's standard on these trailers. I'll go ahead and shut the tack door so you can kind of see that as well. But the white sheeting is standard. You can upgrade into some different colors. Uh, there is an upcharge for the different colors. They can do custom colors as well, but pretty much white standard and then black, charcoal, metallic, silver, champagne. Those are kind of our main colors that we work with. Uh, and then from there, I mean, I've seen red, I've seen blue. You can do some custom stuff. I've seen green. I guess those are the main ones. And then obviously you can go stainless if you want, the stainless sheeting all the way across on these. Now, one thing that on the LX is that standard is usually the polished sheeting, but on this one, this is mill finish. I recommend if you are running kind of some dirt roads, gravel roads on a consistent basis, I'm much more of a fan of the mill. Just from a maintenance standpoint, it's a lot easier to just acid wash this trailer and it'll look like it does today, years down the road where in the polish it takes a little bit more labor as far as keeping it clean then we have to look at not acid wash citrus wash as far as that's concerned but on the lx here you got a a man door coming in with the extra panel over it so you can open this door up you know show off of it work off of it have that panel closed so animals aren't trying to get out they opted for an led light above the door there so that shoots down and out, gives you a lot of light coverage out here. I mean, granted, you know, more than likely, it's just kind of a loading and unloading type of a scenario on these type of load lights as far as the, the functionality of this trailer we're looking at here. Now, here's the other thing. On the LXs that's standard are the drop windows. So instead of two rows of plexiglass up high with air gaps, you know, you have these bus windows, a lot more airflow. It's a bigger opening there and a lot easier. I mean, we're not having to pull plexiglass out and store it. We can literally just shut and open these. These also have a slide window in them. So if you want to keep them up and only half of it, you can really manipulate the airflow in these trailers to really work for what you're doing in each, each day, each, each kind of scenario that you're dealing with. But the other thing too is, is this lower air gap. So instead of a lower air gap with plexiglass, this is the fold down slat. Now we're incorporating this on about all of our show trailers, even on the cattle side. So our small animal trailers and then the cattle trailers, we like this rather than the, the smaller air gap with plexiglass. And one of the biggest reasons is, is one is for more airflow. This is a larger opening, but also how easy it is to just open and close these rather than having to get a piece of plexiglass, taking it out, again, finding a place to store it in the morning times you can actually leave with this shut up on these really cool mornings and then as the day warms up you can literally make a stop and run around and open up this trailer really creating a lot more airflow throughout it we have two six thousand pound rubber torsion dexter axles aluminum wheels are standard 16 inch eight lugs on this one here uh, these are balanced and nitrogen filled so from the standpoint of this trailer actually just traveling down the road having balanced tires makes a world of difference but also the nitrogen you can put air to these if you need but the nitrogen helps psi levels from fluctuating drastically and also you get a one year no questions asked warranty on these tires and a two year of roadside from the vendor that cimarron uses it's not through cimarron it's through lion's head so on this one here you're going to have some warranty as far as that's concerned warranty on the trailer itself is an eight year structure with a three-year hardware so bumper to hitch three years they cover the trailer as we get to the back here as we're working around you'll notice that this door is actually on the side of the trailer over the years the standard have been a welded hinge with grease cert but it only allows the door to come off a 90 on the trailer well as we were attending a lot of shows we were noticing you know everyone's kind of crammed in especially with you know what we've been dealing with the last couple of years you know a lot of show off the trailer type shows but everybody gets kind of crammed in so you have these doors winged out and you're always having to constantly open and closing them so we opted to do these wraparound hinges so these are an upgrade but as you can see it gets to the side of the trailer out of the way now you can work off the trailer you're not really having to mess with those doors at all that's something that we do on all of our small animal trailers for sure whether it's the goosenecks or the bumper poles so we have dual 50-50 doors, so they're independent. So we can work one way or the other, open them up, get them to the side of the trailer to show off of. 
and then we step right into this eight pin setup here. They opted for the full width rear ramp. You can do a 50-50 split if you'd like as well, but on this one here, it's a, it's a full width. Now, as we get into this stall area, you will notice that the left hand, as you're looking at it, pins are larger than the right hand. But that's because this is an adjustable pin setup here that we're looking at. So we can go 60-40 to 50-50 very easily. Uh, then if you're working 60-40, you have an alleyway to work off of. It's very easy to use. I'll show you here. I mean, it is as simple as you break it loose from the panels. That simple. It pushes into these rubber sockets and then I've got a 50-50 pin set up here. So it's very easy to do. I mean, it's a one-handed deal. If you've got buckets in your hand and you need to swap some pins, it's very simple to do. The other thing is, is we can actually take sections of this out. So we could take out this back section if we want and have a large opening. Uh, you could do the same at the front. If you do decide to pull all of these, I mean, I can pull this whole system out by myself in about five minutes. One of the important things to do is actually number your posts as you work backwards. I like, uh, you know, I mean, just take a Sharpie and all you have to do is write a one, two, three, four, five as you work back. That way when you go to put them back in, you know exactly what order to, they go in. Now, one thing that's standard is no matting on the floor. But as you can see, there is some, a rubber mat on the floor. That's actually worm flooring. So this customer opted to upgrade to the worm flooring. Obviously with hogs, you know, they can get underneath those mats. It's, it's a pain. So you either go with no mats and bed deep, or you go with this worm flooring. The other thing is when you're dealing with rubber mats and all these posts is they have to cut out around every single one of them. So getting it to fit how it should when you're, when you are cleaning a trailer out, is very difficult. So we recommend just going with worm or going without, and then just go in that direction there. But again, very simple, very easy to use uh, system in here itself functions really, really well. And then they made a couple upgrades as we work forward here. Right above me, they frame for an AC unit. So again, we've got a 30 amp breaker package up there and that's what it takes to run an air conditioner. So the framework's already done, which is really important because in man, does that save a lot of headache, a lot of time, a lot of labor by having this already done on the trailer itself. And then again, we had that 30 amp breaker package. So in this left hand top rail over here on driver's side, you'll notice some outlets. There's three outlets, one at the front, kind of one in the middle, one towards the back. And then we've got those OptiBright lights again back here that you're seeing uh, that we saw in the tack room. And then there's this rail that goes down and these brackets hanging off. So what you can do is, is this is a 14 foot rail. This is what we use on our cattle trailers for our traveling gates. But what we can do is, is on those brackets, we can take like a, a 12 inch barn fan. That's what works best because you know, 24 inches, they hang down too low. Um, 12 inches work really well. You can actually tighten those up, snug them up against the rail where you want them. And then obviously we have plugs. So you can just plug it in and run some fans. You know, there's some heaters that you can get as well. And then you've got your two-way roof vents. Those come standard. You have eight of them because it's an eight pin. And then you have this insulated roof that's standard on every single Cimarron. It'll take substantial hail. We're working into that time of the year. And more importantly, it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler compared to aluminum sheeted roofs. So it's gonna keep the stall area so much cooler for your animals compared to the competitors with aluminum sheeted roofs. I mean, it makes a massive temperature difference. But then we can manipulate airflow. Obviously we have the drop windows, we have the lower air gaps, you have two-way roof vents, you have the potential to put an air conditioner, you can run fans, a lot of different things to make it very comfortable for your animals, whether you're just traveling or showing off of this trailer itself. <clears throat> One thing that we're doing quite a bit on inventory trailers is backup lights. That's become a very popular option, very small option. It is an upgrade, but Let's be honest, I mean, again, we were talking, this thing is 26 foot three from the back bumper to the very point of that hitch. Uh, so being able to have some light coverage, we know you're gonna get home late at night or get somewhere real early in the morning. Having those backup lights is just dang handy. Uh, I know there's been countless times I've pulled into my driveway at night and I back up and I've got a spot 
against the fence, you want to kind of know where you're at. So having those backup lights is a very simple upgrade that we've been doing quite a bit on. And that actually, that customer actually went ahead and did that on this one here. Over here on driver's side, and that gets a good look at the drop windows, that wraparound door again. And then you've got that lower air gap with the fold down aluminum slat. So very, very simple to use, open, close, and work off of this trailer. This trailer weighs, uh, we'll work on getting the official empty weight, but it's gonna be right around that 4,000, 4,200 pounds empty. So we do have some people pulling these with some SUVs, obviously you have to have a, a brake controller, whether it's an integrated on the vehicle itself or an aftermarket. Uh, but again, this is something you can pull with like a, a newer half ton, you know, a larger SUV from that standpoint. Obviously you have to look at what your trailer or your, your tow vehicle is capable of and then determining the empty weight of this and then also loaded as well but very well equipped bumper pull. This is a really cool trailer. Again, unfortunately it's sold. Uh, that's kind of the, the theme here lately, but that is okay. We can build you one. We do have others on order. We have goosenecks. You can completely customize your trailer. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on this one in case you're interested in it or something similar. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX eight pin, five in, two, two, zero, two, zero, four. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.